Hello friends, my name is Sachin Chowan and you are watching video related to the operating system. Hello friends, it is a second example of first come first source scheduling algorithm. In this example, the GAN chart has a gaps in between. So, why it is created? That is the question and we will solve that question in this example. So, if we try to draw the GAN chart for this, it's like this starts from 0 and uh, for the time interval of 0, there is P1 process coming to your system. So, you can allocate a CPU to P1 process. The completion time of P1 process is 2 and it's a non preemptive task. That means we can complete till the completion time. Okay. So, now at time interval of 2, check is there any process arriving to your system is there any process no there is no process arriving at 2 but we are having a process arriving at 3 time interval so we have to move our gantt chart from 2 to 3 and this creates a gap in between your gantt chart so that means it is a one gap now at time interval of 3 there is a process that is p2 process so we can complete this p2 process up to 5 that means 5 plus 3 that's 8 again check for the time interval of 8 is there any process no there is no process but the process is at 9 so we have to create a gap in between your gantt chart and it moves to 9 at 9 there is a process that's p3 and its completion time is 1 that means 9 plus 1 10 so it completes your GAN chart. So if I can draw the table for this, so table becomes P3039 and it's 251. Next one is completion time, waiting time, turnaround time, and the response time. Completion time can be calculated from this GAN chart. So, for the P1 process, it is completing at 2 time interval, that's why the completion time is 2. For P2 process, it is completing at 8, so its time interval is 8. And for P3, it is completing for 10, so it's 10. Now, next one is turnaround time. Turnaround time is calculated by the formula completion time minus arrival time. So, completion time minus arrival time, 2 minus 0, that is 2. 8 minus 3, that becomes 5. 10 minus 9 that becomes 1 okay next one is waiting time waiting time is calculated by the formula turnaround time minus bus time so turnaround time we have calculated here that is 2 5 and 1 minus bus times column okay so this is 2 minus 2 becomes 0 5 minus 5 becomes 0 1 minus 1 becomes 0 that is the interesting part okay now the response time you know the formula response time first instance minus arrival time so first instance for p1 process is 0 arrival time of p1 process is 0 that means 0 minus 0 response time for the process p1 is 0 okay for the p2 process its response time is 3 minus arrival time of process is 3 so it is again 0 and for p3 its 9 arrival time is 9 9 minus 9 0 okay the next part is to create average turnaround time that is by this formula 2 plus 5 plus 1 divided by number of processes that is 3 that is 8 8 divided by 3 and the answer is 2 point near about 6 6 okay and last one is average waiting time which completes your question it's 0 0 divided by 3 the answer is 0 okay so in this way we can complete first come first server okay fine thank you if you like this video please press like and subscribe button thanks for watching